Hey and welcome back to my channel. I recently posted a video to my Instagram feed and I received a few DMs from people asking how I got my video looking so crispy on Instagram. So rather than keep repeating myself how I did it, I thought it'd be easier to show you. Although I do my videos in After Effects, the steps are still the same if you're a Premiere Pro user, minus the detail preserving upscale. Whenever I edit my videos, it's always in the 1920 by 1080 format, as it's always for YouTube first and then everything else second. So let's get started. Step one. I take my main project and duplicate it, then rename it Instagram. This is just so I don't lose it amongst all of the other files. Step two, I resize that comp for Instagram portrait, 1080 by 1350. This step is very important as keeping to this resolution will mean Instagram won't crop your video, which as you know, results in a compressed and not nice looking video. Step three, I select the clips I want to include and delete everything else. Step four, Next, I resize all of my clips to fit in the 1080 by 1350 format. If it's GoPro or drone footage, it's easy as I always film these in 2.7K or higher, which results in me always scaling this footage down to fit on my 1080 timeline. But if it's my Sony footage, which I usually film in 1080, then I will add some detail preserving upscale from the effects panel and scale up all of my 1080 footage. This makes sure it's the best quality it can be and gives better results than just scaling up normally like this. Step 5. Once all my footage is ready, I change the resolution to full, then add this comp to the media encoder queue. Once the comp has been added to the media encoder queue, these are the following settings I use. First setting I change is the resolution. Make sure it's set to 1080 by 1350 or you can select match source. Next, make sure the render at maximum depth checkbox is ticked. For encoding settings, uncheck the boxes next to the profile and level if they are greyed out and for profile, set this to high and for level, change to 4.2. Bitrate settings, change the bitrate encoding to CBR and the target bitrate, I set mine to 40. Under audio, make sure the bitrate setting is set to 320 and everything else you can leave as is. Finally, make sure the tick box is checked for use maximum render quality. Then press OK and start your render. That's it, super simple and gives you amazing results when you upload video to Instagram. Now I know that portrait video isn't for everybody, but it's the best way I have found to get great results when uploading video to your Instagram feed. Props to Matt, who is Matt Johnson for this video which was inspired by his 1080p export settings for Premiere Pro. I will link his video in the description if you want to check that one out. And as always, thank you for watching and to those already subscribed, I will see you next time. And to those who aren't, what's the matter with you? Hopefully see some of you in the next video. Laters.